wrapping it up uh, as our last day at Sanibel, the parrot's nest. We're thinking we should go grab some bait and find a place to fish for uh, one last uh, try, I think. A little disappointing, I didn't get any new species. Um, but we got, I mean, I got the target species, red trout and snook. And that was about it. So maybe we'll catch something different today. Don't have much time before we have to head to Orlando. So that's where we're at right now. It's fine. We're leaving Sanibel Island because, of course, they're out of shrimp. <laughs> so it's three mornings in a row we weren't able to uh, fish the morning bite because they didn't have any shrimp. Uh, and the bite is tough enough without using live bait, or at least it has been. So we're going to head over to Fort Myers, grab some bait there, and fish a different spot, which will be nice, something new. So Sanibel was good, as always. We caught some fish. Blind Pass was very productive. Ding Darling, not so much. The Pier, not really. So, overall thoughts of uh, Santa Bell? Good. Cool. We're here at uh, Lover's Key State Park. Uh, here at Big Carlos Bay or something like that. So it's just a new spot we're gonna give a, a try. Looks pretty promising. I heard some good things about it, so we'll see. We didn't realize this was uh, such a hike. It's about a mile from the parking area. It's gorgeous backwater stuff. And here's another parking area. It's like we parked in the wrong spot. Uh, yes, yeah, Estero Bay area. It was gorgeous out here. Kind of similar to uh, Cedar Key, but a lot of shallow flats. It's great for redfish. It's kind of low tide right now, but figuring out the the lay of the land and hopefully get a spot where there's some fish. All right, so we left our popping corks, pliers in the van. It's like an hour away, and that's a long walk. There's trams and stuff around here. I just don't know if they'll take us all the way to the parking lot where we parked because I need to move. Uh, there's just not a lot of action over here. Tide's coming in. I'm gonna go to this other bridge across the way. Here there's a big deep hole there with lots of fish. But I can't go until my dad comes back because he will not know where I went. And his phone got wet because he put it in his shoe right next to the beach. And the tide was coming in. So I have to wait here now uh, without no place to fish, it's too shallow. So I gotta wait for him. <laughs> Boy. That makes me happy. That doesn't. Looks like we're gonna wrap it up over here from uh, Lover's Key. Conditions look pretty good. It's just too late in the day. We miss our, the morning bite, and it's just kind of late. Not a lot of current or structure, or you know, it's just too hot as well, and it's noisy. Yeah, every time somebody walks down the pier, yeah. it just bounces everything. It's pretty, uh, Not enough current for snook, and too noisy, I think, for redfish. Yep. So we're gonna call it. So this is the end of the fishing trip. Uh, it was overall it was pretty good. We hit our target species. We had a couple really good days, as you've seen, um, and a couple of very very mediocre days. We just didn't get a chance to squeeze in as much fishing into the days as we normally do. Most of that is because of the weather. A lot of rain and a lot of wind uh, kept us away from the water. Um, and uh, there were a handful of days where they didn't have shrimp early in the morning so without shrimp we're pretty much useless so we had a lot of days that were cut short 
uh, but at least we were able to get out there this whole time and catch some game fish. A um, couple really good snook days, a um, couple really good trout days, and I caught a couple of redfish. Didn't get the trophy once again, but I got closer this time. I at least nearly had a big giant 40 inch snook going after my bait. Um, I just didn't really focus and do the things I needed to do to catch that fish. Um, but next time I will. Um, it has to be my sole focus, I think, and really just go out for them. Because without the right gear and the right bait, you know, you're not going to catch those giant fish. But anyway, um, it was kind of a, you know, it was always a good, it's always a good fishing trip when you can get out and, and fish as long and as much as we did and cover as much ground. That's the great thing is going from Stewart to Cedar Key to Sanibel, Boca Grande, and even down to uh, Lover's Key in Fort Myers, you know, Estero Bay area. That looks like a great spot. I I'm want to spend more time down there in the future, I think, because um, it looks like a great redfish spot. So anyway, that's it. We're uh, headed out now, and I got a lot of videos to edit. So I will see you tomorrow. Your overall uh, impression of the trip? Good. <coughs> productive in places other places a little bit slow we had to deal with the weather and cloudy uh, water and everything but uh, we did pretty good I think we did, uh, found a couple new spots yeah true and try to try them out see how they were and um, no, I think it worked out pretty good yeah caught the target species not a lot of the redfish but we caught a lot of trout and, and snook so it's all right Always a good time fishing. Oh yeah.